Alright guys, this is my custom... Symbiote! Batman Beyond! And he was this week's winner for the custom symbiote character. Now, uh, Batman Beyond is definitely one of my favorite TV shows of all time, and always will be, I'm sure. But, um, you know, I had a lot of fun making this guy. I've also done a, you know, classic symbiote Batman as well, but I like the way this guy turned out a lot more. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Gave him the, you know, his lengthened up wrist blades. A custom bat logo because, you know, I thought that if I just put the normal bat logo on there, it would be very, <laughs> very expected, unoriginal, and yet yeah, you guys get it. But the giant bat wings were a must because, you know, a symbiote Batman would not be symbiote Batman without them. Now, he retains control of the symbiote. He doesn't have the giant uh, monster mouth. His ears have been lengthened up a little bit. And he, of course, is sporting these super sharp claws on each hand. Because in the show, if you guys remember, he can kind of pull out super sharp claws to help him scale buildings if he needs to. But, yeah, this is how I imagine Terry McGinnis looking if he ever were to gain the symbiote. And a lot of people seem to get a little upset that I cross uh, Marvel with DC, but, you know, it's really the best of both worlds and one vessel, in my opinion. It's just the coolest idea ever to have the symbiote just infecting not only Marvel characters, but DC characters as well. But you guys, let me know what you think about this and tell me. What symbiote character would you like to see next?